Hey there viewers, welcome back to another episode of Ray of All Trades. I am continuing on this uh, 2000 Evinrude 225 FIC motor. Oddly enough, I just finished doing this video, only I realized that my camera battery or my camera was never turned on. Um, I'm sure everybody's been there. Uh, anyway, I think it needs a fuel filter. And this fuel line, let me zoom in so you guys can see it. This fuel line seems to have a crack in it that goes all the way down. I think this looks like the supply line going down to the tank. So it could be pulling air in there. But what I noticed when it was really cold out, uh, the motor would crank and have to start, you know, several times to get it to finally fire up. Almost like it low uh, uh, gas pressure, fuel pressure. So it just kind of led me to believe that maybe there's something with the fuel supply. The guy before me uh, ran ethanol fuel in it but he didn't let the fuel sit so because he was a tournament fisherman he's got a lot of hours in this motor um, so over the years he, he ran it through but kind of makes me wonder if some of the ethanol hasn't torn up some of the uh, lines inside but I ordered these parts over the winter and I'm finally getting around to putting them in uh, went with the OEM parts from a marine uh, supply house but anyway it looks like to pull this cover off to get better access to this um, got it looks like a 10 millimeter there here here and here and I think this whole cover will come right off so stand by let me see if I can get these off of here some goop in there let's get all that cleaned out I think we just got some uh, cleaning up to do let me get a pan try to catch this and verify that my parts that I just bought are correct so one fuel filter or excuse me fuel line Looks pretty close. Yeah, it looks like part number 345714. Hose T left pump. Fuel filter. Evan Reed Johnson, part number 5011090. Looks like about the same dimensions. So without pulling it off, I'm not really sure. Uh, electric pump, marine fuel filter, and water separator. Uh, yeah, this one was a water separator too. It came from Crowley Marine in Denver, Colorado. C-R-O-W-L-E-Y. It's been sitting and I haven't tried to start it. I'm sure there's a way to uh, pull the fuse and turn the key on. Maybe crank it. Got safety glasses and... Actually, that thing was really loose. plan on keeping that fuel because it is a water separator too so it's probably got water in it I like lubricating the o-ring with oil even though I'm not doing an oil filter I'm doing a fuel filter it just helps that filter come off easier next time okay Grab a rag, make sure all that's clean. Um, I don't see a need to uh, pre-fill this with gasoline like you would on a diesel engine because the electric pump should pump that fuel right in there. And tight. 
fuel line changed out at the same time. So I can reuse that clamp. This one here, I'm not going to reuse. I'm going to replace it. I have one of those pliers that will open this up. Not open this, but I mean, I make this clamp. Um, once you start sh reshaping these things, you're better off just changing them. Right, let me go and grab another clamp before I get too far and get this hose ready. So this is the top side. Yep, that's what we want right there. So the top side and use the same clamp here for the bottom side. Is it still in good shape? Okay. Just put my hand there just in case. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that before, but that thing split all the way down. Let's see. Let's just wipe some of this out while we're here. Seems to be a mixture of water and oil. Cover back on. <coughs> Let's see. That, this grommet goes in first. I saw that the gasket down here seemed like it was a little bit off track before. Let's take a little bit of effort and try to get that in place. but try to fire it up okay make sure you get a good water supply to the lower unit pump up our check valve get the gas flowing Sounds like I hear air escaping. Make sure I don't see any fuel spraying anywhere. Primer bulb is rigid. fuel pump see if it does anything I'm not really sure how it works so let's do that a couple times I'm assuming it's similar to a car where you need to uh, uh, let that fuel line charge up a little bit all right let's give it a few cranks <coughs> Even though the battery said it was charged, 
It's not. Let's see what we have. From ground to battery connection. 11.5. I bet you that's not enough. Alright, let's put a uh, jump pack on it and see if it makes a difference. is still rigid now. I think we're ready to put this thing in the water. You guys got it in this video, I really appreciate it.